It's an event born out of 70s kitsch. But since it has grown into the preeminent, globally endorsed championship of strength, where each year the world's best vie to be part of an elite legacy. Today, five athletes begin their campaigns for this year's title. One, a young American who hopes to join a stellar list of U.S. strongmen who have hoisted the trophy. Will Martins Leetzies break through? Many, including himself, believe this is the year. Welcome to the 2019 Tachi Palace World's Strongest Man. Bradenton, Florida, where a vibrant downtown and a picturesque shoreline set the scene for this year's competition. Brent Stover alongside former NFL first round draft pick and Super Bowl champion, it's Aaron Taylor. The World's Strongest Man now brings us five more strongmen trying to get the next two tickets punched into this year's final. And the big story here is Martins Leetzies of the United States. Now, Martins is still young in his career, but he's already shown some flashes of greatness in his first few appearances here. Now, he certainly has the confidence and bravado, but can he avoid the injuries and setbacks that have hampered his previous runs here? Martins' first challenge is going to be the monster truck pull, but he's got a fierce group of competitors here to go up against. Let's meet them in our Tachi Power Profiles. Eddie Williams, Australia. I work with uh, kids with disabilities, so kids with Asperger's, autism, kids on the spectrum. And I found that I was taking my job home, stressed out, anxious about work, and my family wasn't getting the love that they deserve. So instead of going straight home after work, I would go and lift weights. That's when I knew, hey, this is a sport for me. So I haven't looked back. Hi, my name is Mikhail Shevlikov from Russia. Sorry, I do not speak English. <laughs> I guess I was born with a natural charisma. Natural charisma. Yeah, I said natural charisma. My name is Siberian Force. I want the... Bye. Tom Stockman, Great Britain. One, two, three, stunt women. <laughs> Luke 100% supports me all the way. What I've tried to do with Tom, encourage him to my utmost and my fullest, because he's, I mean, he's just a beast. Like, when I went first to the gym with him, I wasn't interested at all, and I was like, girls lift you more than me. I mean, Tom can take it all up. You know, everyone can talk, oh, Tom Stoughton's the next big thing, but I have to step up and prove it and get closer to uh, crumbling the mountain. It's going to be the biggest name in Scottish strongman history, 100%. Fingers crossed. Ivers Schmaugstelis, Latvia. Of course, when it's competition, you are biggest enemies in that moment. For finish, you did your maximum. You go cheer other athlete and help him to do better. Go, Rogers, go! Big family. Other sports, I think it's... I don't tell you all my secrets. <laughs> Martin Sleetsis, representing the United States of America. The first time I competed in the World's Strongest Man, I, I knew I was nowhere near as strong as the biggest guys, and I did well. I got up to sixth place, World's Strongest Man, 2016, and then I followed up with two fourth place finishes in 2017 and 2018. <laughs> my absolute focus out there is to tear it apart. Certainly a lot of talent in this group. Welcome to downtown Bradenton. Group three will take on their first event, the Monster Jam Truck Pull. Brent, with a pair of 25,000 pounds worth of Monster Jam trucks daring you to move them, the strongmen will need relentless leg drive and consistent arm power to yank on the rope to successfully move this load down the 22-meter course. Mikhail Shivliakov, residing in Russia, region of Siberia, nicknamed 
Siberian Force. A pro strongman and manager of a client department at a private security company. His fifth World Strongest Man appearance. Shivlyakov, one of the older competitors here, 39 years old, only 309 pounds, but look at those big pipes of pumping, yanking on that rope. Trying to get back to the final for the first time since 2015. Started out strong, but starting to look a little out of sync here. Drifting, taking steps, but not really going anywhere. He's really feeling the full load of that 25,000 pounds. Tremendous crowd here in downtown Bradenton willing him to the finish. But this is going to be tough for him to keep this momentum going all the way to the line. That's the thing that he's losing, Brent. You hit it right on the head, the momentum, and you can see here he's getting his last stand and last lean, literally trying to get the truck started again after coming to a complete stop. This is going to be almost impossible for him to get this across the line. And he's only got 10 seconds left to do it, and that's it. Look how hard he's breathing. So oxygen deprived as we hear that final whistle. But he's fine, back up on his feet like the true competitor he is. He pulls at a distance of 17.40. Sure, body mass and technique are crucial, but so is effort. You saw that with Shivlikov. He's getting up there in age, but he's got the heart of a bear. Up next, Ivar Schmachstelis from Latvia, making his second appearance here at World's Strongest Man. So much of this event is about being in the right mindset. You know you've got virtually an insurmountable task ahead of you. But Schmachstelis with a nice beginning here, smooth with a little bit of a bobble there. That can be an indication that that load is about right at the max of what they're capable of doing. The 31-year-old who lives in Riga, Latvia, up against it here and doing everything within his power to pull these two Monster Jam trucks down to the finish. Schmack Stellis with a tremendous effort. You can hear the grunting as he's digging deeper and deeper into those glutes and hams. Loses his footing there, but doesn't give up, yanking on this rope trying to get those trucks across the line. You mentioned the grunting. It's in a rhythm, too, and you kind of feel like it's helping him out here. And he's going to go into the lead as he crosses the line in 54.74. We're down here in Florida, and sometimes the rhythm's going to get you, but it didn't get Schmack Stellis. Credit focus, determination, and brute strength for him getting those 25,000 pounds worth of monster trucks across the line. Two competitors from Group 3 have begun their quest for the final. But with three more athletes hungry for this year's title left to compete, this race is far from finished. It's the continuation of the truck pull when we return to the Tachi Palace World's Strongest Man presented by Rogue. The 2019 Tachi Palace World's Strongest Man on CBS Sports Network is sponsored by Tachi Palace Hotel and Casino in Lemoore, California. And by Rogue. Don't weaken. Welcome back to downtown Bradenton, where Group 3 continues their first event, the Monster Jam Truck Bowl. Two athletes have already competed. Currently in first is Ivar Schmachstelis with a time of 54.74. And second is Mikhail Shibliakov, unable to get to the line. He pulled it 17.40 meters. And now one of the rising stars. And a fan favorite here in Florida, the American Martins Leitzis. Leitzis is 355 pounds this year, gained 24 pounds from last year's competition. This is the heaviest he's ever been at World's Strongest Man. And so far, so good for the American who's looking to make his name one that everybody's household remembers. And he's a showman indeed, nicknamed the Dragon, lives in Newberry Park, California. Kind of an awkward hybrid start there. Strained and then immediately started taking steps, but he seems to have found a nice rhythm here. Look at that body lean, those big lower legs. 
Leetzies is really good at the static events, but that extra weight seems to be helping him out here, moving these big, beefy trucks. Making his fourth World Strongest Man appearance. He's been in the final each of the first three times. He was fourth in 2017 as well as 2018, looking for better and getting on the podium in 2019. And he's off to a great start in event number one, 41.33. And despite that slip at the end, shatters the time to beat by 13 seconds. Martins is just the perfect blend of balance, power, and effort, and toughness, and mindset. I think it's just a matter of time before he's the man to beat. Representing Great Britain. Tom Stoltman now, Great Britain. They call him the Albatross. He was doing chest flies one day, and because he's got that crazy wingspan of 81 inches, that's six foot nine inches, his arms are as long as half where Julius Bjornsson is tall. His second appearance at World's Strongest Man. Stoltman himself is 6'8", 342 pounds, but he kind of looks lean, if you can even say that for somebody that big. I got the 342 one offseason, Brent, and I assure you I did not <laughs> look like that. Stoltman strong here. His luggage got lost on his trip to Florida. Had to go out and buy shoes and had to find size 18. And you see him going down there. 18s aren't easy to find, but this isn't what he's used to. But to me, Brent, he's got a lot more problems than just what type of shoes he's wearing. He's out of sync and disjointed here. Relatively new to the sport, he's given a great effort, but it's pretty efficient movement here towards the end. He is clearly fatigued. And now slipping and falling again. Time limit is 115. Trying to grind towards that finish line. The, the effort is incredible here. Unreal. Probably that same effort that allowed him to win 2018 Scotland's Strongest Man. But clearly, he's had enough this afternoon. That tells you everything you need to know about what these guys put their bodies through. So he goes into third, Tom Stoltman, a distance of 20.20. .20. He was out of sync almost immediately, and a crossover will help you as a point guard, but it's not real helpful when you're pulling over 25,000 pounds of Monster Jam trucks. He'll get better with time. Remember, this competition is far from over. A newcomer to the world's strongest man is up next, Eddie Williams of Australia. First appearance, 6'4", 419 pounds. And you wonder what kind of nerves, what kind of a mental situation this will be for him out there with this big crowd and a couple of big trucks behind him. Woo! It looks like he's in the right mindset. He really attacked that start and got those Monster Jam trucks moving right away. The Tank is his nickname because he's got the Guinness World Record for pulling a tank. So he is no stranger for these pulling events. He's also two-time Australia's strongest man. He's also 419 pounds. He's the heaviest in this group and the third heaviest in the overall competition. He really likes these moving events, and you can see why, Brent. He has really got a blistering pace down this course with those trucks. Amazing. 41-33, the time to beat. Can Williams do it? Across the line, he does. 41.11. And Eddie Williams, in his first trip to World's Strongest Man, wins event number one. He attacked this right out of the gate, and it was clear Eddie Williams was a man on a mission. Look at that face, Brent. He is attacking the rope with his arms. He's attacking the pavement with his feet, and he gets it done. The tournament director, Colin Bryce, calls him the Thunder from Down Under, and that nickname seems perfect for Eddie Williams, who bursts onto the scene. Leetzi's right behind Williams, pulling it 41.33. Schmack Stellis takes third, Stoltman and Shuviakov unable to complete the course, and we check in with Jenny Dell. After the break, no event combines speed and strength quite like the Giants medley. We're breaking it down into three different parts. First, the farmer's walk, each log weighing in at 330 pounds. Up next, a 995 pound super yoke. We're finishing it off 
with these Monster Jam BKT tires weighing in at an astounding 1,325 pounds. Which athlete can go the farthest in the fastest amount of time? Find out next at the Tachi Palace World's Strongest Man. Welcome back to the 2019 Tachi Palace World's Strongest Man. Group three is moments away from their second event, the Giants medley. And this is a punisher, Brent, because our strong men will have to move three objects down the 21 meter course. The first of which is a farmer's walk weighing 660 pounds and then two giant super yokes. The biggest, 1,325 pounds. One athlete has competed, Mikhail Shivlyakov of Russia. The first two apparatus, the 660 pound farmer's walk and the 995 pound yoke, he makes those look easy. But then the super yoke, 1,325 pounds, not so much. Still able to finish in a time of 35.61, setting the mark for the rest of the athletes in this group. So it brings up Tom Stoltman of Great Britain. He's in fourth place after one event. He goes opposite Latvia's Ivars Schmakstelis. He's in third after one event. I love the Giants medley because it requires strength, dynamic movement, but also smooth transitions and technique. Both making their second appearance this year at the World's Strongest Man. Schmakstelis is six inches shorter than Stoltman, but a very similar weight. And right now, Schmakstelis looking strong. He's got the lead into the final apparatus. But now he struggles, and Stolman looking to take advantage. Yeah, lifting the 1,325 pounds yoke isn't a big deal for these guys, but moving it across the finish line certainly is, as we see Stoltman with a time of 25.69. He goes into the lead for the group. Still not quite there, Schmakstelis. Valuable time, and finally, he finishes, but the story here is Tom Stolten. 25.69, he is now the leader in the Giants medley. And Schmack Stellis goes into second with a time of 34.40. Stoltman was really smooth through the log lift and the first super yoke, but this second one, he had to kind of figure out what was going on. Once he got his shoulders locked in underneath, it was a wrap. And this competition certainly now heating up. When we come back, Martin Slitzis and Eddie Williams will take their turn at the Giants medley on the Tachi Palace World's Strongest Man presented by Rogue. Welcome back to downtown Bradenton where two more athletes are about to face off in the Giants medley. Scores so far, Tom Stoltman currently in first, a time of 25.69, blistering time there. Schmack Stellis in second, Shibliakov in third. Our final pairing, Martins Leedsies, the exciting young American, in second after one event. Speaking of exciting, Eddie Williams in his first ever trip to World's Strongest Man was awesome in the first event, the Monster Jam truck pull. He's the leader after that event. This is an interesting head-to-head -head competition because Leedsies is more known for his static power and Eddie Williams likes to be on the move. Both off to great starts here. Head to head after one apparatus, maybe a slight advantage in the far lane for the American Leetsies. Wow, that transition by Leetsies was flawless. That's like four NFL defensive tackles, 1,325 pounds. Leetsies trying to get across the line, and he does. 2109 to win. Eddie Williams fighting hard. Clock at 30 seconds, inch by inch. Leetzies comes over to help him out. Still not quite there. Left side of the apparatus, now it's over the line. Eddie Williams in 38.84. With a time of 38.84 seconds, Eddie Williams. So Eddie Williams finishes fifth here in the Giants medley after winning the first event. And Martins Leetzies, the winner in the Giants medley, 21.09 seconds. This is the biggest and best I've ever seen Leetzies. Something's different about that cat this year. 
And I don't know what it is, but it seems to be working. Martin Slitsi standing by with Jenny Dell. Martins, it seems like you have a different intensity about you this year. Where is that stemming from? I want to win it. I want to win it all. I'm gunning for it. It seems like also this is the heaviest you've been. So where did the weight come from and why is that helping you in this competition? Well, originally I actually wanted to be a little lighter for the, but uh, the weight just kept on coming on. Uh, I thought it was going to be a lot hotter. So I'm really grateful it's nowhere near as bad as the Philippines was because this weight is now serving me. How does it serve you in an event like this? Just to move the weight forward. I'm more sturdy, stable under these heavy weights. All right, what's the goal for this year? First place in the world. Thank you, Martin. Martin's lead sees with his first win of the competition. Stoltman finishes second in 25.69. And Eddie Williams, after winning event number one, comes in last here. That win pushes Leedsees to the top with nine points, three points ahead of a three-way tie for second. That ties between Schmack, Stella, Stoltman, and Williams. Last time on the World's Strongest Man, five more men began their quest for this year's crown. And it was a rookie from down under that set the bar with a spectacular start. But that early win by Australia's Eddie Williams was soon eclipsed to the second event by this group's American hopeful, Martins Litsis, who put in an impressive performance in the hard and arduous Giants medley in its imposing final challenge, the 1,300 pound super yoke. Litsis now stands as the leader of the group, but can he fend off the other tough competitors, all looking to move on to the final as well? We find out coming up next. Welcome to the 2019 Tachi Palace World's Strongest Man. We're here at Coquina Beach on Anna Maria Island, where Group 3 will take on the third event of the competition. It's the Monster Jam Speedster Deadlift. Let's take a look at Group 3's standing so far after two events. Martin Fleetsies of the USA has a commanding lead with nine points and a three-way tie for second with six points each. Our Schmack Stella, Stoltman, and Williams, only two will make it through to the final. A lot is riding on this next event. A lot indeed, Brent. Specifically, a pair of Monster Jam Speedsters weighing a punishing 825 pounds. Most reps lifting the bar from the ground to the level of the hips wins. Eddie Williams of Australia kicked off the deadlift and managed two reps. Four athletes remain with a chance to get one step closer to the final. Representing Russia, Mikhail Shivlikov. From Russia, it's Mikhail Shivlikov. His fifth time competing at World's Strongest Man, seeking his second trip to the final. But Aaron, he's off to a slow start, has to make an impact right here to give himself a legitimate shot. Well, lucky for Shivlyakov, the deadlift is one of his best events. Even at 39 years old, he's the second oldest competitor here behind Great Britain's Mark Felix. But this is an event that he typically does extremely well, and he looks strong here. He goes into the lead, four reps, and now his fifth. We always talk about momentum, rhythm. He had it going, but now goes to a knee to take a rest. And this is different than a traditional deadlift. Because of the fulcrum with the speedsters anchored behind him, he can take a break and literally lean back into it. Usually we don't see competitors take a break and still rep out reps. But again, this is Shivlyakov's moment to shine, and he's doing so. He's not just repping out reps again. I mean, he picked up where he left off, and now he's at eight. And that takes another rest. Now, now, coming off of this one, it might look a little different. It might be. His muscles are thirsty for that oxygen, and there's just nothing there. But still, eight reps is pretty dang impressive. Shivlyakov sets the new mark to beat with eight reps in the deadlift. Representing Russia, Mikhail Shivlikov. You can see how much strain Shivlikov's body was under. 
but he gutted it out and repped out as many as he could. Likely will need a few more reps to keep on moving, but such an impressive performance. Next is Ivar Schmachstelis from Latvia. A part-time strongman, he's also a sales manager at a steel construction company. His second time at World's Strongest Man trying to get to his first final. Schmachstelis is more of a volume lifter, which means he trains for reps versus max weight, so I'm interested to see how his natural way of training helps him out here. Number to beat is eight. Set by Shivliakov moments ago. He sees very hunched over on his reps. He's literally using his legs to get it back and then muscling it up with his extensors in his back. He's a little disjointed, dislocated, if you will, in his technique. But he's gotten these first five up and looking to get a couple more. Certainly eight the number right now he's shooting for, and I think he's done. Schmachstelis taps out with five, so he will move into second place. Here in the deadlift, the man from Latvia, Ivars Schmachstelis. Yeah, it was just dislocated movement. He almost straightened his legs out first and then used his back, keeping that chin tucked against his chest. The form, technique, and power just weren't there. The Bradenton area on Florida's west coast, an amazing destination committed to the preservation of the beautiful sands and shores of its barrier islands and honoring its pioneer past. Fred Stover alongside former two-time All-American and Super Bowl champion, it's Aaron Taylor. More of the deadlift coming up where we're going to get to see the American and current leader in this group, Martins Leitzis. Leitzis is off to a great start here. A really strong performance in the Monster Jam truck pool with a ridiculous time of 41.33 seconds. And then a dominant performance in the second event, the Giants medley and its super yoke weighing in over 1,300 pounds. Leitzies is also feeding off the great energy from the crowds here in Bradenton, and I believe that's made a difference for him. He's loving it here. These crowds have been tremendous, as you mentioned, and they have pumped up all of these athletes. The completion of the deadlift in this qualifying round when we come back to the Tachi Palace, World's Strongest Man. Welcome back to Coquina Beach, where Group 3 continues their quest to the final with the deadlift. So far, three athletes have competed. Mikhail Shivlyakov set the mark to beat with eight reps. Schmack Stellis in second with five reps. And Williams in third with two reps. Here's Great Britain's Tom Stoltman. He was first Stoltman. here in 2017, had to withdraw with an injury after three events, so finished fifth in his group, then didn't make it here last year. Luke Stoltman, his brother, trying to help him out from the sidelines. Obviously, Tom looking for a much better result this time around. And he's looking smooth. Sometimes these guys have enough power and strength. They just need more experience. Help them with their mindset. And Stoltman looking very strong here through five reps. Number to beat is eight, and he's already locked out his sixth. Starting to get a little bit shaky. He's having to dig deep here. It's not just the hips and the glutes and the hammies that extends her back strength, but it's also the connective core. The stabilizers play a role here as well. He's one off tying the mark to beat. He wants this one bad, Brent. Never made it to the final. He knows what's in front of him. Tom Stolman with all his might here in the deadlifts. Can he lock out his eight? Yes, he does. And Luke, his brother, who's already qualified for the final out of group one, is loving it as Tom is able to tie for the lead with eight. You can see the emotion from both Tom Stoltman and from his brother. What a fun effort to watch. He just wouldn't be denied and found a way to dig deep and unleash the necessary fortitude to gut out that last rep. Martins Leitzis. The group leader about to close out the deadlifts. Let's learn a bit more about him in our Tachi Palace power profile. Strongman has become more of a specialized sport lately. In the past, basically whoever was strong could compete in strongman. Now that it's becoming more popular and more people are doing it, there's more strongman gyms are getting better and more knowledgeable about how to move these implements, such as stones, logs, tires. I love watching out for these 
minute ways to like really get the most out of an event. After I'm done here competing, I want to teach the world how to do strongman properly. The entertaining quality of mine is always by accident. My nerves were just so over the top. And I had this reckless abandon going into these events. And by the time I got through it, alive, I would just have this victorious yell. Representing the United States. What a scene Ortiz. from our team's lead Aaron, you know he thrives off of situations like this where he's the last guy to go, he knows the number to beat, he's on home soil on a beach with a packed house. And he eats static events just like this for breakfast. Nice, smooth form and technique. Look at those powerful legs. Everything, one fluid motion. Lower body, upper body working perfectly together. Working his breath, his feet haven't moved. He's not slowing down, Brent. One more to tie the mark. Easy. Eight. Now for the event win in the deadlift, the American Martins Leetzies. Representing the United States, Martins Leetzies. With the bow. The blow of the kiss to the crowd, ever the showman, but my goodness, the power. Being in sync, so smooth, those tree trunk legs, the bravado, everything necessary to win this event, and possibly more. The winner of group three in the deadlift. Leetzies looking Martin. like Leetzies. he wants to solidify that automatic entry into the final. Only one more event for him to go. Can he keep up the pace? Shevlyakov and Stolman tie for second with eight reps each, Smok Stellis. Takes fourth with five reps. Eddie Williams in fifth with two reps. So Martins leads. He's increases his lead. Now he's at 14 points. Stoltman, Schmack, still asleep on a point and a half of each other. Only one more event to see who's going to face off in the last man standing. Here's Jenny Dell with a special guest. We're now joined by our tournament director, Colin Bryce. So what makes this world's strongest man different than years past? Gosh, uh, they're probably bigger than ever before. I mean, we've got a couple of men nigh on seven foot and 450 pounds, so, and not exactly men, more like dinosaurs. Uh, there's only 25 this year, 25, and that's, that means you know, five in each group. There isn't a single man who, who is not a potential finalist here this year. But that's something we've never seen before. Every man is quality. There are thousands of people that are coming out to support these events. How can that help impact the athletes that are out there performing. The crowd here, they've been fantastic! Yeah. 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 British guys, so yeah. All, good. All right, we got much more World's Strongest Man coming up right after the break. Welcome back to the 2019 Tachi Palace World's Strongest Man presented by Rogue. At Coquina Beach, Anna Maria Island, Bradenton, Florida, Group 3 taking on their Penultimate event, the overhead press. I don't know what penultimate means, but I know that this is going to be a fun one to watch because our strong men are going to have to lift a 340-pound log from the ground to locked out overhead. Most reps in the fastest time wins with a 75-second time limit. And let's see how they fare. The 350-pound log clean and press. Log for reps. It will be a big fight. Representing Russia. Mikhail Shevlyakov. He's Russian. He's just <laughs> crazy. Насыщенный опыт. Я непосредственно получил ту закалку, как и все молодые бойцы начально. He's next level. He's one of the best in the world right now. He's good at everything. I'm better. Representing Latvia, Ivar Schmokstilius. We got Ivars, he's a monster. Representing Australia, Eddie Julio. As long as I don't open my mouth, I look like a tough guy. <laughs> About Williams, it's hard to say, I don't know. 
maybe he will be this black horse who jumps in <laughs> second place. I've got my body weight over a few other competitors, so I'll use that to my advantage. Yes, Just don't do mistakes, and that's all. Just do your best. A lot of pressure, but I love it at the same time. Tom Stoltman is a monster to watch out for. Probably the fittest I've ever been in my life and the heaviest I've been in my life. He's got good pressing, good pulling, but not excellent. My love for reps is getting better and better. 155 should be all right for me. My knees have been aching a bit more, so I've really had to uh, up my shoulder strength. My plan is to obviously get to the final, and if I get to the stones, in my opinion, I'm the best in the world at stones, you know. I don't think I'll get beaten and get to the final and live up to my name. Hi, I am Martins Leitzis, and I am going to the finals. It's always a big deal to make it to the finals. Every single year I come here, I always have someone here watching, and uh, there's this pressure on me. I'm like, what if I slip? You know, it just takes one slip, and suddenly, you don't make it to the finals, and I'm flying back home early, and then these people that come out here to see me are let down. So I have this absolute intention to make it to the finals every time. I can win it this year. I intend to win it. Full steam ahead. So Martins Leitzis with that event win punches his ticket to the final. Schmack Zellis takes second with six in that event, but at a slower pace of Leitzis, Shibliakov and Stoltman each got flat reps, Williams too. So there's no stopping Leitzis. He's into the final with 19 points. Schmack Stellis and Stoltman, they get second and third in the group. With one event left, they will square off in the last man standing. With Leitzis locking up his spot, it all comes down to this. Will Tom Stoltman join his brother in the final? Or will Ivar Schmack Stellis stand in his way? It's man versus man when we come back to the Tachi Palace World's Strongest Man, presented by Rogue. Welcome back. The crowd is fired up for this one with good reason. Only one spot remains in the final for Group 3. Which strongman can push himself to glory in the last man standing faceoff? Head-to-head -head competition this one is, Brent. Two athletes compete for the one spot in the final by lifting a 400-pound Atlas stone over the four-and-a-half-foot bar. Time limit per attempt is 20 seconds. Winner into the final, and that is Ivar Spotstelis going head to head with Tom Stoltman from Great Britain, seeking his first trip to the World's Strongest Man final. His brother Luke has already qualified out of group one. Man, wouldn't that be something if both these guys qualify? Stoltman really likes this event. He's not scared to be here at all. He's got a full six-inch advantage over Schmack Stellis, who's only 6'2". Stoltman seems focused and really, really determined to make it to the final with his brother. Schmack Stellis, left side of your screen, Stoltman on the right. Every time that stone comes over, you got 20 seconds to work. The time limit there has not nearly been a factor so far. I'm not going to lie, if I looked like Stoltman there on the right, I'd probably take my shirt off too. <laughs> we rarely see a guy be shirtless in this event, but Stoltman indicated that he gets a better grip on the stone, and given that he's one of the better competitors in the world in this event, I think we should take his word for it. Amazing drama here on the beach in Bradenton. He's feeling it. A spot in the final on the line. And Stoltman getting the crowd even more revved up. Trying to intimidate Schmuck Stellis, throwing that stone at his feet. Playing mind games here. Schmuck Stellis able to kind of bat it down that time. Schmuck Stellis, the Latvian, starting to slow down here. Now, this is a heavyweight battle in every sense of the word, Aaron. I mean, this is why they brought this event into World's Strongest Man a couple of years ago is for this very type of mental and physical grind with that spot in the final on the line. Both these men are feeling it, but Schmack Stellis just let out a loud grunt. You wonder how much more he's got in him. 
Schmack Stellis able to get it over and stay alive. Stoltman attacking the stone, likely trying to limit Schmack Stellis's time to recover. Remember, 20 seconds once that ball comes to your side of the bar. So Schmack Stellis, and that's it. He has tapped out. And Tom Stoltman, indeed, has qualified into the World's Strongest Man final for the first time in his career. His dad, his wife, emotional. What must he be feeling as he embraces with his brother, Luke? Luke and Tom Stoltman with World's Strongest Man history. First set of brothers ever to compete in the world's strongest man final. Tom was feeling it from the start. He was determined, attacking the stone, throwing it over the four and a half foot bar, 400 pounds at the feet of Schmack Stellis. And there are some moments we'll never forget. This history making hug between these two brothers is something they'll always remember. Let's check in with Jenny. All right, Tom, you just made history. Your brother, Luke, just made the World's Strongest Man final, and now you will be in the World's Strongest Man final. What does that mean to you that two brothers are now going to be competing in the World's Strongest Man final? You know, I missed it last year, and uh, this year the results are showing, and uh, myself and Luke have grafted for the last 10 weeks, and uh, it's for the enjoying the heaven, my mom, and for my dad and wife, and uh, for everyone back home, but uh, we're not finished yet. This is what I wanted to come to the final, and I'm here, and, you know, I'm just, uh, I can't believe it too much here, so. All right, congratulations yeah. on your first World Strongest Man final. So Martins lead sees the USA and Great Britain's Tom Stoltman have secured their spots in the final. Tom's brother Luke from Group 1 also earned his spot in the final through last man standing. Next time on the Tachi Palace World Strongest Man, six final spots locked in, four more available. Group 4's turn to battle for their chance to make it to the sport's biggest stage. Will Poland's Mateusz Kieliszkowski get back to the final for a chance to avenge last year's loss? Will veteran strongman J.F. Carone from Canada get his shot at the trophy? For Aaron Taylor, Jenny Dell, and our entire CBS crew, I'm Brent Stover. In association with Endeavor Content, this has been a presentation of CBS Sports Network, the 24-hour home of CBS Sports.